I recently made a poll on Instagram page with the question do you know how to create this and 75% of you were responded to no. So I decided to show you how you can uh, very effectively and simply on a very quick way as well model this in Revit. So let's move there and I hope you're going to enjoy to this one. As you could see here this white part is a wall and the first thing I'm going to do is to create a wall in Revit. And in order to get this shape, I will just edit profile of the wall. I'll just trim this. And we'll add one more line here. So when we get this, I will just add a couple of arches and yeah, fill it to 250 on those sides. This seems fine. Maybe this can go a bit lower and this one as well. So something like this seems fine. Okay. So we did the first step. The next thing I'm going to do is to get those rounded edges on our profiles. And I'm going to do that with the model in place. Then we'll go to the wall and we'll create a sweep. Let's pick the wall face for the reference plane and just start picking. I will actually move this one inside, you will see why. Okay, and now because this is solid, I will just move it to the void and we'll just go and cut that out of the wall. And you see, we got this. A small downside of this method is because we have those lines between the suite and our wall profile visible. And now I'm going to show you the way how you will have no them visible within your views. So let me just create a reference plane, we'll name it as 01 and let's just make the section view over here. Let's go to that section view. So from here I will go to the model in place and we'll create a wall as an extrusion. So to make this actually you just need to hover the mouse over one side of the wall and then just click tab on your keyboard until you get this chain. And click fine, 200 I need for the thickness. Okay, so here I am now going to create a sweep again for the reference plan. We'll pick this one. And let's make a profile. Now I will just make it outside of the wall, but it really doesn't matter. So be before I just made a void sweep, now I'm going to make a real sweep. And here it comes. I will now just go here and I will join this. And you see, this seems fine. I made this here as a sweep, while on a generic wall I made it as a void sweep. For generic walls it doesn't matter, actually for the system families, for walls it doesn't matter if it's a, a sweep or void sweep. This cut line, this, visit, this line between the, what is model in place and what is the system family will be visible in your views. While for the model in place it doesn't matter, also is it, is it a sweep or void sweep, that line is not going to be visible because it's a one model. So let's just click finish and you see that's it. Uh, let me just show you one trick. So this is visible in the views as I said, like if you go to the section view it's visible. You can anytime hide those lines here. The way to do that is you just need to go to modify and then this line work tool and then pick here in visible lines and you can pick them. So you see I picked those three here. But if I go to the plan view and let me just create the floor. And let's say that you would like to make a render. So in our render, you see we have those lines visible on a wall while not on a model in place. 
but I will just make a very fast render. So if you are going to hit the render button, as you could see, if you are going to render this, this really doesn't matter which method of those two you use because those lines between the wall and the model in place are not going to be visible in your render. They're just visible in your views. And as I said, in your views, you can anytime go to the line work and you can hide them. So it's up to you really which one of those two methods works better for you. Thank you very much for watching this one. If you would like to support us, you know, just subscribe and like this video.